Hello and thank you for joining me at Jo Beth Sexton's Crafty Cauldron. Today I have a flip through for you of one of the journals I recently finished. Um, I would like you to meet Gypsy Moth. Um, this journal is, I constructed the, the um, cover so it's not an altered book and it's not made out of another cover. It, it's um, I constructed it out of, uh, you know, pieces. So let me just measure for you. So we've got, it's seven by nine, so she's pretty big. The spine is lace covered. It is a two inch spine and I, I wove some uh, red ribbon down the middle of the spine through the lace that I covered the spine with. And I covered the spine so it would hide the um, stitching. So what we have here is we have some spine jewelry and let me just show you the up close. There's a little piece here that's like a curly paper clip that I made and that holds on a um, two strands of beads. They're seed beads and they're in um, earth tones, uh, brown and reddish brown, beige, tan. And they're really, really long, plenty long enough to wrap around your wrist several times or wear long around your neck. Um, and this is a part of the spine jewelry. So um, it all comes off. Let me just take that off and I'll go through that with you. What we have here are things, and I tried to think of this through the whole journal, things that are pretty and flashy and things that you might pick up along the way if you were a traveling person, a traveling gypsy. And um, so I've, I've attached all kinds of different colors of ribbons. Most of them are color coordinated with the cover, which is heavy um, upholstery cloth. And this has sari silk, yarn, ribbon, lace. Um, let's see. Um, it's also got some eyelash trim and some uh, charms and the charms consist of on this one I have some belly dance coins with with a little um, winged goddess on them and then a coin with an Athena on it and a little black shell coin and they jingle then on this I have a moth this is fitting the theme of the gypsy moth on this I have a crystal ball and it's actually a uh, uh, iridescent marble. I don't know if you can see the iridescence on it, but it is rainbow finish and it sits inside of a pewter hand charm. You can see that. Okay, and let's see, is there anything else buried in here? We have some sequins trim. Let's see, sequins like this. So it's, it's a, I wouldn't call it a boho journal. It's more like a gypsy journal. Boho means bohemian Hollywood, and it's nothing to do with Hollywood. Um, the tie around is uh, dyed sari silk, and I left it ragged because I got to thinking, and I thought, well, she may or may not have been able to hem that, and, well, if not, then it would be ragged. In the bottom, on the bottom of the spine, I left a tail. You are welcome to trim that off. I would suggest stitching this first so that it doesn't come up. But as it is, I stitched it at the bottom and then it's glued in. So, and then there's that. I left a lot of the threads hanging, which you are also welcome to trim. Once this is yours, she's yours. You can do whatever you want with her. We have at the bottom here, we have a nice big piece of really gorgeous lace trim and a sterling silver mother of pearl uh, vintage charm uh, pendant i'm sorry it's a pendant and it's handmade i don't remember where it came from i've had it for a really long time um, like i said the, the front and back they are um, uh, upholstery fabric fabric and i centered it over the spine so when you when you turn it over, you've got the other side of the design. The book has metal corners, as you can see here, metal corners on all four corners. Okay, so inside, 
Um, this is true marbled paper and I left it blank. Um, you can, of course, do whatever you want with it. This is the title. It's a gypsy moth. It says gypsy moth, but it's also been attached by a, um, a paper clip, an altered paper clip with a vintage, very sparkly button on it and a little snippet of vintage ribbon. It's really old and it's a little bit faded, so. But it's a journaling card. And then I tried to think of other things. What would she believe in? What would she put stock in? One of the things I thought was, well, people over in Europe and of that era, they really had a um, confidence that things like these gargoyles were their guardians, guardians on the churches and, and they could be guardians for people too. So I wrote guardian. I uh, stamped the word guardian on the back and this is another journaling card and it just kind of goes in there here in this corner tuck which has been stitched in and um, and it has been uh, decorated with a little ribbon and a altered uh, paper clip. On the back of this, let's see, I didn't mean to do that. On the back of this, I also put in a poem from a very old poetry book. Um, it's from a book called Poems We Love. It's from 1806, I believe. And um, so the pages are really delicate, but this one I glued in um, and the poem is called By the Fireside. It's, it's a little long, but it's really beautiful and covered that with a piece of tissue paper. So it's got a little bit of protection. Next page is a dictionary page that's been stained with coffee. This is a double pocket made out of piano roll. It's um, made out of the end of the piano roll. And I left the little, there's a little tab at the top with a hole in it where you would attach it to the player piano so it could get drug, you know, drug through and rolled up. But um, I left it blank. I left it open so you could hang something from there if you wanted to. Also have a um, big tag, giant tag with a fabric embellishment right here. And it's up from a dictionary page. Then that page has been coffee stained and lace on the side. It's crocheted lace. And a little charm group right here with a moon and star and a red bead and a little amethyst bead. So here we've got a little, um, this is a um, journaling spot actually. It opens up. It kind of just holds on right there. Opens up. And you've got a little page right there to journal on. And that's something that um, I thought up. I have a video for this on my channel if you'd like to see how to do that. This is a piece of rag uh, watercolor paper. It's cold press watercolor paper that I stamped with lines so you can draw, you can write on it, but you can also um, paint on it. I'm pretty sure that this ink, I think this is the um, distress ink that's water based. So that you can, you can kind of water it down and make it fade. I suggest once you water it down though, once since the paper is going to be getting wet, you want to make sure that it's flat. Have weighed it down with something heavy. Then this pocket is made from a um, piece of braille page that I inked up. Let's put that back in there. And this is a piece of doily stained, coffee stained paper that I created myself. Um, this is rice paper. It's a real thing. Then this is a piece of um, the braille page and in the top there were some holes where it had been in the book and I just wove through there with some dark red ribbon. Then in this it's my shake, one of my shaker envelope, um, my shaker <laughs> pockets. The stars inside of here are loose and then I filled that with a little tiny notebook that has been stitched on the binding and it's got several pages in it. Some are half pages, one's a coloring page, a bright pink page. Again following the bright flashy colors that I thought would go well. Then a journaling card with moths on it and music and paisley design. There's the back, it's blank. Then this is a quote from Edgar Allan Poe. And this is a tag that opens up for more journaling space. It's a giant tag that opens up for more journaling space. And it just goes right inside this little tuck. This is mulberry paper with plant parts in it. I don't know if you can truly see that, but let me just hold it up. You can, there we go. A tea stain, I'm sorry, coffee stain doily. And this is part of a needle craft book uh, from the 60s. And I stitched on some lace and attached a little 
butterfly or moth charm. So that's there. Um, it's just attached with a safety pin. This is another journaling card showing feathers and birds. And on the back, it is a piece of um, coffee stained paper with the doily print on it. All of the coffee stained paper in this book I, I made. I, I coffee stained it myself. This is another journaling card. And on this, it's got several different um, pictures of tarot cards. And on the back, it's just plain. But it the, text, the paper has a texture on it. I don't know if you can see that. It's horizontal, so you can use those for lines when you're writing. Then we've got, oh, that goes in sideways like this. And then we've got another page of the piano roll paper, which is really nice, thin, but very durable. This is actually a tuck right here, which I left. Now, actually, that's not a tuck. This is just a page, and this has some textile on it, some velvet ribbon and fabric and paper, and that's just for feel. <laughs> then we're at the center of the first signature. This is a trim with little bells on it. I'll just pick it up and show you. It's got little bells on it, little tiny gypsy bells. More piano roll paper with a pocket and another piece of this, it's like specimens of eggs. And that's a journaling card with some coffee stained ledger on the back. It just goes right in here. And then this is a little pocket um, that I put in on a piece of Franken paper. Um, and a little journaling card and a piece of fabric that is, it's a, actually a vintage piece of fabric from the 1960s, but I thought it went well with the theme of Gypsy because it's bright and colorful and it's full of flowers and you can do whatever you want with that. Um, then this page is for journaling. It's got some clear space on it. Then there's a dictionary piece here on top of some textile with cheesecloth and lace and fabric that's bright and colorful. And then a coffee stained doily. More mulberry paper. Coffee stained paper with some really gorgeous gold metallic trim with all kinds of beautiful colors in it. Then we've got another page of the Braille book, which I left unadorned at the top, but it's it's the Braille book, and I put ink on that. A little rice paper here. Feels so good. It doesn't crackle, but oh man, does it feel good. And then on this page, we've got a little uh, specimen card with moths on it. Um, I got that at Nick the Booksmith. This is actually a tuck, this moth here. So you can put things inside of this tuck. So that was kind of cool, I thought. This is not a tuck up here, but this one is. And these are butterflies that I found online, public domain images. Oh, I'm sorry, no, they're from a really old book. Got those from a book. Then on this page, there's a piece of gorgeous, gorgeous trim. It's got peacocks on it. It's silver metallic and it's real metallic thread. And they're uh, leaf peacocks, and it's paisley. So that went there, and I stitched up at the top with varying and, and different trims, or I'm sorry, seams. And then this is a journaling card with a pocket and some extra paper. And behind the paper, you've got a little surprise moths. It's been decorated with some lace. And the back is just blank with the horizontal line texture paper. Then on this card, this is a can be a bookmark or a journaling card. I left the back blank and stamped it. And there's stamping throughout the book. So you can um, kind of discover that. Um, this has a phases of the moon at the top, but then the whole thing is, is a dictionary page, so you can enjoy that. This is another page of coffee stained paper, and this is another top tuck right here underneath that moth. Let me just move this over. There we go. Another dictionary page that's been coffee stained. And this page has been coffee stained and stained with um, purple watercolor. So that is the first signature. Then the beginning of the second signature, another coffee stain with doily and, and um, stamping, ledger paper. And this is a little page with some flip ups. Each one has a little tie on it. And the ties I left dangling out the bottom, which of course, you are welcome to trim off 
you can see that they're just dangling off the bottom. One's silver, one's gold, and one is, uh, it's a coordinating color to the trim that's on the side of the page. But those all flip up and you can write inside of those. So now we have a little, this is a, a, a costume jewelry ring, but I thought it was kind of cool. Um, it's flashy and colorful. And it's attached to that. Um, this is a envelope pocket, and this envelope pocket is empty. But it has matzah on the back on the paisley paper. A page of piano roll. More franken paper. And this is not a tuck, but this is. And this has a lot of threads hanging and some cheesecloth, cheesecloth and a picture of what I thought our gypsy might look like. And this is another image that I found online. It's it's a public domain image. I'm sure that you could find it if you wanted to, but I decided I, I would put that in here. And that's that's kind of what I thought maybe our gypsy would look like. So we've got sheet music and lined paper that's been coffee stained with the doily. And this is another page. This is made out of the, the painter's masking paper. And this came in a package uh, that, I don't know, I got a while ago. And um, I loved how it was all crumpled and all crackly. So I put it, I kind of flattened it out a little bit, but I put it in there like that. And then I created this, um, this rose collage with moths. And then this is um, journaling, it's a journaling paper thing. And you can, you can kind of turn the pages like that. So it spins out and then you can put it back and then stick it back in the pocket. And this pocket is made out of old wrapping paper. It's silver on one side and gold on the other. This page has a, um, this is where the beautiful, gorgeous, um, it's kind of a rose colored trim is, and it kind of coordinates with the red in this page. And the red is on coffee stained paper. The red is um, watercolor. And the pocket is made out of a uh, piano roll page. This is a inked, um, journaling card and the, the um, butterflies or moths are in um, silver and gold. Back is stamped. So there's that. And then this is a flip up page and I used a piece of an old wedding dress and some sorry silk and a little mirrored, this is a little mirrored um, embellishment that I got years ago. I used to make them. This is mulberry paper and then under this is you can have a secret journaling place under this flip up. I thought that was kind of pretty and then the um, coffee stain paper with the doily print on it. And then we just want to put this altered paper clip back in here. It's got a little pearl button. It's not real pearl and a little red ribbon. This is a tuck with another, um, it's a butterfly, but the um, corners have been decorated with some silver foil paper. So that just tucks in there. And then this is a really nice piece of cotton. It's like brushed cotton uh, fabric, and that also creates a tuck. So there's that. This is one of the corner type tucks that I love doing. Piano roll paper and then coffee dyed paper. And this is a little picture that I found in a book uh, that I have, I, I don't remember what it's called, but it, it certainly looks like a gypsy or two gypsies. And then she's got bright colors and there's, a, I think, a cat or a dog in her lap. Back is just a coffee stained paper with the doily print on it. And that fits right down in there. And there's plenty of room to put more in that pocket, too. More masking paper, lined coffee stained paper, sheet music. Some more, this is old notebook paper, um, coffee stained. And then this is uh, the piano roll paper with a reinforcement of micropore surgical tape, which I absolutely love. Um, this has got a, a pocket with moths decorated and then a little notebook that has been stitched together just on the spine. The paper is not coffee dyed, but it's, it's nice, uh, sturdy paper. So there's another little notebook. And this page has a journaling tag, which has moths on it. It's been a little bit of decorated with a little collage. And then the back has a tag. The tag has um, a little word on it. It says wings. 
And then this is a little tag too, a journaling spot from Nick the Booksmith as well. And then there's a little uh, brass bell and a little coin with Athena on it. And then the other piece of paper is a piece of coffee stained paper. And then that is supposed to actually hang over the edge. So you've got more jinglies hanging over the edge. Um, ledger paper. And then this is old vintage, uh, of old vintage pill case that I sewed in here. And it's supposed to be crooked. <laughs> this is a little um, embellished journaling card with, um, and I believe this is a water house, a, a copy of a water house painting, John William Waterhouse, and it says Ritual. In the back is the textured paper with the horizontal lines. Coffee stained, coffee stained and stamped, and this is a really cool little idea that I believe I got from, sh let's see, Happiness and Crafting, Gina Kerr. And it's a little concertina envelope. It just opens up. Oop, that almost got glued shut. We're good. And I put in a little tiny tag that's been stamped in red. Right there. And um, let's see. There's a big tag here, which also opens up into a double journal journaling tag, little notebook thingy. It goes inside that. Now, the paper that I use, the green on here is eco-dyed. It's a print from Nick the Booksmith. I'll provide a link below. And then this ties shut like this. And I'm going to see if I can't tie it, then I'll just kind of leave it. But I sometimes have trouble because I don't have a lot. Oh, well, I'll leave that there. And then this has um, a uh, old, it's old vintage lace that I coffee stained. And this is a journaling card in some, a print of marbled paper. And this is a little, it's like a dome. And then I stamped the back with some um, uh, stamps. And those, I love those stamps. They're so cool. And then this is a little piece of Franken paper, basically. The top, this, this, um, this is a journaling tag. And it's got just a little piece from an old um, museum book and it's from the 60s and then um i glued it on and then the back i left blank for journaling and then here's another a piece of that wrapping paper that's silver on one side and gold on the other coffee stained paper with stamping more stamping and then this is parchment it's not real parchment it's um it's like the kind of parchment that speedball puts out um, then this page is a huge envelope with decorated with paisley fabric or paisley paper and moths and inside I've provided some um, coffee stained lined paper the lines are really faint so I mean they, they just bled out when you know they when I got it wet then there's some um, coffee stained lace here and the, this is actually a tie tack pin and the tie tack pin has a little rhinestone in the middle of it. You're welcome to use that anywhere you want, of course. Another pocket on some more coffee stained paper with some red uh, watercolor on it. A little piece of that rose lace and some ribbons. And then this has got a poem and then it's decorated with some more of the um, marble paper print from Nick the Booksmith. And the back has a stamp and it's um, been inked around. Next page, we have a tuck at the top and then a pocket on the bottom. And this is a little different. This is an envelope that I created out of a book page with some lace and some, uh, I believe it's mulberry paper in there. With, it's bright red and it's got a Velcro closure so you can tuck little treasures inside of here. And the bottom is lace and it's got this little trim here that I uh, wove a... Um, ribbon through so it's all coordinating and it holds shut really well because it's got that that little velcro closure on it so there's that this is a decoupaged um, journaling tag it's a, a leaf skeleton and it's got a little green ribbon at the top so that just fits right down inside of there on this side there's a tuck more moth and then this is a um, journaling card. You can use it for whatever you wish with the print of the eco die from Nick the Booksmith and some uh, vintage, I believe it's vintage. It might actually be antique um, sheet music. And then we've got the textiles, the double row of lace and a double row of, of craft paper. And then there's a little charm on the end of this chain that is red. 
and it's then uh, came off of an old piece of uh, belly dance jewelry that I had. This is a journaling tag with a moth and this this little uh, it's a vintage eye image and then there's some um, paper here oh, with a ribbon over it and some paper here with a gold uh, border that kind of sort of fits in with the paper that I used to cover it and then the back is blank with the textured horizontal lines and a stamp and then this is a double pocket. There's a pocket at the back and then a pocket in the front with some more paper. Then this is a piece of red penne velvet over top of dyed muslin. And this side is more sheet music. This is coffee stained paper with some blue watercolor and stamping. And then this is the um, ledger paper that I coffee stained. A little piece of green mulberry paper, which is absolutely delicious. And this is a piece of really old sheet music. It's it's um, a little delicate, but I wanted to put it in as is because it's got these wonderful cracks. And then I reinforced the um, the inner part of the page with some surgical tape because it, it it's almost transparent. It's almost transparent. There is some writing on the page, and on this side there's you can see the music. It says 1924. And then there's a couple of little stickers up here in the back of it where you can see the rest of the picture of the fairy and the elf. Then this is a page, there's an altered paper clip with a ribbon and a short page with ledger and coffee stained. This is a envelope flip out and I left that empty so you could hide some treasures in there and covered that with some paper that kind of coordinated with our colors here. The green, this green is watercolor and then the coffee of course. And then the page is from, I believe it's from a, a Swedish folk tales book. I'm not sure, but it, it's vintage as well. Woo, almost done, folks. Hold on. Just stay with me. Stay with me. So then on this side, we've got a tuck. Oh, I'm sorry. That is not a tuck. That is the envelope flap. But I left it there because I thought it was pretty. Then more sheet music. And on this page, on the back of the sheet music, we've got a little corner pocket with a little palmistry. This is off of New York Public Library, public domain Im images. And a little notebook so you can keep notes about what you're reading. And the binding is stapled, but it's covered with some really old linen that is just, it, it was so fragile, it was really easy to tear. But it looks ragged and I love that. So this is a page coffee stained with green pigment, um, coffee stained and with green pigment. This page, back of that of course, is another page that I created a pocket, a corner tuck pocket on, and I just collaged some flowers and stuff over it. And I drew on a, um, a little floral design with white gel pen. This is, um, I don't know, it's, it's a picture of a lady holding a crystal ball, a young lady, and she's beautiful. And I was thinking maybe, you know, maybe it's her sister. Maybe she's longing to go meet with her sister and doesn't know where to find her. There's a moth there because our gypsy moth theme. The back is the textured horizontal lines. On this, this is a really gorgeous piece of black lace. It's very floral with large leaves. And I have um, attached, let me just hold this up, part of an earring that used to be part of my belly dance jewelry. It's got some little teeny tiny bells um, that, that they don't really jingle. I mean, they do if you can hear them, but it's so tiny, the noise is so tiny and it's safety pinned on of course you're welcome to take that off and use it in anything you wish a pendant whatever earring more coffee stained paper a corner tuck and this has some craft paper that you can write on and a little tiny envelope that really opens up and there's some more craft paper in that and this was made from the moth or butterfly white paper it feels kind of like linen paper so that goes in there then this page is on some of the parchment, the new parchment. And there's a tag with a decorative end on it and stamping, and that's a journaling tag. And then a long tag with some stamping and um, inking. And then that goes in this pocket. The back is bare. And then this, this is a long, long fold out that I have put in here, made with coffee stained paper in strips and then this is a, a piece of parchment of copy parchment copy paper 
and I stitched that in with a zigzag. So that can go over this to hide it if you'd like. It can go under this. It doesn't matter because it's it's short enough to be to accommodate both ways. And then this page has a tuck and then it's got a decoration and, with paper and with lace. It's like a lace border. It's floral red lace border. And then this is another journaling card and it shows a palmistry hand. Ledger paper with some copy staining. This is a peekaboo. It's, a, it's an envelope that folds out. It flips out both ways. This has a journaling card in it. So in on the front is collaged with vintage sheet music stamping and a moth. It's a cheesecloth and ribbon with a lace tab. And everything is brightly colored and, and it's got lace at the top that's been coffee stained. So there's that. And then this is a piece of the eco dyed paper. In this pocket, this has got another journaling card. And this journaling card has a teeny tiny little pocket on it with a little tiny tag and some little it's little print vintage sheet music and this says dearest although I love you so my heart answers a thousand claims besides your own and then on the back it's stamped and it has the um, horizontal textured lines and then that just fits right down there and it fits kind of tight but it'll go in it'll go in just like that and then there's that and we're at the back we're at the back the back is more of the marbled paper and then an ex Libra's book plate for you to sign and then down here I have signed it with it says handmade by and it says Ethro Beth Sexton so there you are there's the back one other thing that I have is I made a created a um, a writing board for this it is made out of chipboard has lovely metal corners on it and um, this page is actually a page from an old old history book uh, old history book it's like from 1817 or something and it's um, falling apart unfortunately because it's a gorgeous book and then the other side is just plain um, 12 it's from a 12 by 12 sheet and then over the top of this I have just added a, a layer of beeswax so the beeswax will help it be more durable and it won't leak out onto your textiles papers or anything else it won't mar the, the book and it it slightly waterproofs it so it's kind of a cool thing to have so there you are there is this journal her name is gypsy moth i will try to have this listed in my etsy store uh link below in by friday i don't even know what date that is um <laughs> Let me check my phone really quick here. I've got a calendar in my phone. Of course, who doesn't, right? <laughs> but seriously, I hardly ever use it. So let's see, calendar, today is the 14th. So I'm gonna try to have this in my Etsy store by the 20th, I don't know what time. Um, keep your eyes on my store. If you don't, if you're not, um, if you're not, um, getting my notifications from my Etsy store just go there you know and click favorite store and, and you'll get the notifications but there you have it wrapped up with sorry silk and her name is gypsy moth and thank you thank you so much for watching and remember it's peace love and it's not about the destination it's about the journey so make it a happy crafty and colorful one and I'll see you all soon bye bye